Callie, Lynn. Lynn, Callie. Let's go. Okay. You both know the rules. Yeah, there are none. No physical contact between the riders. The first one to pass, Rude Boy Barricade, wins. On the count of three. One, two, three. <laughs> Cheap shot. Takes what it takes, bossy. Somebody. Oh, look at my bike, man. Where'd you learn to drive anyway? An amusement park? Hey, Cal. What's up with the bike? Oh, nothing. Can I come in? Callie. Cal. I promised you weren't going to race in traffic anymore. I wasn't racing. You were racing. And you are lying. I saw the whole thing. It's these kids you're hanging out with. And those stupid stunts, I can't stand it, Callie. You could have been hurt. You could have been killed. Can't you ever think before you act? I don't do it again. I've heard that before. No, I guess it doesn't matter now. My grant was approved. We're going to England? Callie. Well, that's cool. That's really cool. Callie, I'm going to England alone. 
What? I'm sorry, Cal. I, I wanted to take you with me. I did. I was looking forward to a summer together. But I can't have you tearing around London, getting into cab wrecks, risking your life. I won't, I swear. This project is very intense. And if I don't publish by September, I won't get tenure. Your stupid job, that's all you care about. You know what? It's fine. There's no worries. I'll just... I'll just stay here by myself. I can't leave you alone when I'm here. I am certainly not going to have you by yourself when I'm gone. Oh, no. Not Aunt Maggie. Aunt Maggie? Old MacDonald Maggie? E-I-E-I-O? No, I'm sorry. Not in this lifetime. For the best. I don't eat beef. Oh, well, how about horses? I prefer cars. That's it. Snapper, you all right? He was settling down. You stay away from that animal. You know how dangerous Kai can be. Now, until we decide what to do with him, he's off limits to everyone except Snapper. You understand? <laughs> yeah. Come on up. Such good breeding. Just doesn't figure. That horse is making zero progress, Mitchell. He's a lost cause. How bad he hurt you? A few bruised ribs, maybe two broke. I'm surprised they didn't kill me. That horse could kick you in the next week. 
vet thought he might have had encephalomyelitis, but the test came up negative. I think we've got to seriously consider putting him down. Well, I'm not ready to take that step just yet. Face it, Mitchell, our breeding experiment didn't work. We probably crossed lines too close. Got a mutant offspring. Well, you're probably right, Snap, but we got a lot of money investing in that horse. Mitchell! I want you to continue training him. That's why I brought you out here in the first place, isn't it? <coughs> we'll talk about this later. Yeah, they're just beautiful, aren't they? You know, I want to be straight with you, Kelly. When your Aunt Maggie invited you out here this summer, I wasn't sure what we we're going to get ourselves into. I sure didn't ask to come. Well, I know what you hear, and that's just a plain fact, but... Well, just so there's no misunderstandings, uh, I think we should get things clear between us, you know, right at the beginning. Yeah, like what? Well, uh, everyone pulls his weight around here. A lot of work to be done on the ranch. Now I'm gonna give some of it to you. I've asked Rafe to, to teach you how to ride, do some chores. You meet him in the horse barn in the morning. He'll be waiting. Rafe. The guy who tried to calm the horse? That's him. What's with that black horse? Oh, that's a long story. Took you so long. Dangerous for me to be away. Someone at the ranch might notice. That's your problem. <laughs> Mr. Wells wants to know when he can take delivery of his horse. Soon. Foster's not ready to give up yet. That's stealing. What are you crazy? You can't do that. It's too easy to trace. Wells is just gonna have to be patient and follow the original plan. Mr. Wells is not a patient man. So what is your story? Mitchell said you're supposed to teach me something. Nice to meet you, too. Lesson one is what cowboys call juice in a cow. Juice in a cow? Here, put this on. I need a hat to milk a cow. Trust me, keep the cow's hair or whatever's on the cow from getting in your hair. Gross. Now grab the bucket in your right hand and spoon in your left and come here. What's your name, anyhow? Callie, meet Bossy. Put your foot here in the stirrup and then. Got it? Now you try. You know, there's a reason not to wear those kind of shoes. Here, let me help you. Mr. Wells, 
else is concerned, you might really be trying to deliver damage to merchandise. There's nothing wrong with the horse. A lot of time and money went into selecting a mayor and sire before it was bred. Both of them were strong Bardee and Swing Ranch bloodlines. With that bloodline, he's potentially one of the finest studs in the country. As long as you can deliver. I know a hustle when I see one. I mean, on the one hand, he's telling this guy that Kai is a great horse. And on the other hand, he's trying to convince Mitchell to destroy him. I'll tell you one thing about that horse. I could settle him down if Snapper would give me a chance. Rafe, this is serious. There's something going on, and it's not right. Get back to work. Like a prisoner on a chain gang. And it looked like one, too. Easy, Kaya. Whoa, boy. You gonna solve all my problems? Steady, boy. That ought to do it. <laughs> <laughs> that really ought to do it. <laughs> Get wild, boy. Get wild. <laughs> Something seems wrong. You shouldn't be doing this. It's not worth it keeping him around, Mitchell. He should be put down. Before you do that, Mitchell, I want you to listen to what Callie has to say. Last night, I watched him give Kai a shot. That made him wild. What's she talking about, Snapper? Just doing what the vet told me to do. I give him a shot of Valium every night. I'm supposed to keep him under control. How come he got so crazy, then? Valium hadn't taken effect, I guess. Maggie, Snapper knows what he's doing. I just leave it at that. It's for you, young lady. You got enough problems of your own without getting involved in something you know nothing about. The old Snapper here in apology. think about it. Kids are like that. Now the real question, what are we going to do about the horse? Well, I guess there's no real choice, is there? I sure don't want him to hurt somebody else. Of course not. Mitchell, you bred that horse to be a champion. Don't give up on him. Look at him. Come on, Maggie. You think I feel any better about this than you do? I got a fortune sucking that horse. Think I want to see that all go down the drain? All of that, make the arrangements.
boy, good boy. You're still supposed to be teaching me how to do stuff, right? Uh, right. Well, this is the morning feed. That's all they get. They'll eat the whole barrel if you let them. So? The oats line their stomach, they can get colic, and they can die. Bummer. So, have you thought of a plan yet? A plan? Yeah, a plan. To save Kaya? Save Kaya? Is there an echo out here? <laughs> an echo? Look, Snapper has convinced Mitchell to put Kaya down. When? I don't know. He went off to call the vet. So how about this? We steal Kaya. Not permanently or anything, but just for a little while. And we train him. You do know how to train a horse, don't you? You're nuts. And what is this we business? I don't need some city girl telling me to risk my job to steal my boss's stud. The only thing I can't figure out is where to hide him. But I'm sure with all the years you've lived here, you know of a place. Come on, Rafe, help me. Don't you realize how much trouble I could get in? I need this job, Callie. But it'll work. We can make it work. You and me, together. I just can't. Well, I can, and I'm not letting him kill that horse. What is it with you and that horse? You saw what Snapper did to him, same as I did. Snapper's a snake, and I don't trust him. Snapper is one of the best trainers in the country. So what? Who is that creepy guy I saw him with? Snapper likes to gamble. It was probably someone from the tracks. Well, if you're not going to help me, I'll do it myself. Look, you'll have the horse soon enough. Hang on. You watered the foals yet? Uh-huh. Good. Take off, then. I got things to do. Come back. Don't worry. Like I said, I'll take care of everything. You'll have your horse soon enough. <laughs> okay, you win. I know a place. Meet me behind the stables at dawn. It will take us a while to ride up there. Ride? Wait, me? Dawn? How much further is it? Let's bring the stupid backpack.
father brought me here when I was little. He told me the ancient ones lived here. Later, the Shoshone used it for secret meetings. They were completely hidden, but could see enemies approaching from the lookout point. Do you ever come here anymore? Once in a while, yes. When I need to be alone. Does anyone else know about it? Nobody at the ranch, if that's what you're thinking. We can keep Kaya here till he's trained. If he can be trained. A lot of apples you got there. Yeah, well, I may be gone for a long time, so. Aren't you Foster's niece from New York? That's me. What's it like in New York? Sophisticated. you guys, you know, I'm just bush, so I think I'm just gonna head off and go to sleep. Good night. Good night. Good night. Just let me try. He trusts me. Would you please just be quiet? You're messing everything up. Anyone ever tell you how nice you'd be if you'd just be nice? Hey, Doc. Thanks for coming. And I heard from you before now. Gosh, everything's been fine. The Valium works great, just like you said. I overdose him and it makes him totally crazy. Foster really believes he's got a defective animal on his hands. Look, Wells people paid me a little visit this afternoon. They're tired of waiting. I want that horse tonight. That ought to work out just perfect. Foster's finally decided to destroy him. Glad to hear you finally got your act together. You bring the dope. Careful with this. It's not Valium. You give more than 100 cc's, you really will have a dead horse on your hands. Easy, boy. Easy, boy. Hurry up. I'm trying. Let me try. Oh. No, you don't know how. Oh. Easy, Kaya. You're not doing so right yourself. Here, boy. Here. Think nobody ever heard of carrots before you got here? Here, Kaya.
told you I could get him to do it. Surprised you, huh? Guess I know more about horses than you think. What I think is we should be quiet for the rest of the way. It won't be long before they'll start looking. You're jealous. <laughs> nope. Just worried. Did they find him? Not a trace. Most of the men have been out all night. Well, I hope he's not hurt. Maybe we should offer a reward. Oh, you look great. Look at her, Mitchell. Doesn't she look good? <laughs> great. Wow. Is everything okay, Kelly? Sure. Why? <laughs> hey, wait up. Where are you going? Meet Ray. Oh, yeah, you two are getting awfully close. Oh, yeah. We're already talking about what to name the kids. Very funny. So what are you up to? Ah, uh, you know, exploring. Later. How you doing, Kelly? Oh, fine. Seems Kai broke out of his corral. Oh? Funny, though, these brakes are awful close together and small. For hoof marks, that is. Come take a look. Hmm. Well, whatever. I don't really know about that stuff. You got along real well with Kyle, didn't you? You even let you feed him once. Yeah. Only for a second. And then he ran off. I thought he was pretty mean. That he is. That he is. You look like you're heading somewhere. You better be getting there. What? No black? I just thought this would be cooler. Come on. I'm just teasing. You look great. Come on, let's go. So what now? We feed him. Uh, grab that bucket over there. Today you'll learn to groom and feed. Yeah, well, what about riding? You know, real riding? First things first. You gotta learn to fall before you can ride. Whoa now. Easy boy. Easy boy. Easy, easy. Come on, boy. Easy, boy. Easy. Come on, Kaya. Easy, boy. Easy, boy. Easy, boy. Easy, easy, boy. What? I said this crazy horse has the spirit of a coyote. Why a coyote? The Shoshone revere the coyote. Legend says that he is the trickster who tests our patience in life. His presence is always a sign. Yeah, well, why is it always a he? I mean, aren't there any female coyotes? There are. Who's that? That's my grandfather. He's called Mopea. Are we in trouble? Not with him.
Leave the light. Mr. Wells is very unhappy about the way things are going. What's a hurry all of a sudden? Mr. Wells needs time to get the horse to the buyer in Miami. He's scheduled to leave for South America next week. If he has to return to Argentina empty-handed, the deal's off. You'll have to work out your debts to Mr. Wells some other way. One week? It's impossible. Better make it possible. Hi. Hi. I haven't seen much of you this week. Oh, I know. Um, Rafe's been showing me around. In the future, would you let me know where you are? I mean, your mother called yesterday, and I didn't know where you were again. She'll get over it. Call me tonight. I think we need to have a little talk. But, um, no but. I hope this doesn't make you feel uncomfortable, but... Well, I, I... I really need to talk to you about... Well... What you and Rafe are up to. I mean, Mitchell and I, we've kind of figured it out, and we... Oh, Aunt Maggie, please don't be angry. We were just trying to keep... I know, I know. I was your age once. I know what it's like to fall in love. I do. Oh. Yeah, well... Yeah, we just, uh... I don't know, he's just... The coolest guy and then the... Uh, oh, cute, so cute. Which is wonderful. I mean, he's cool and he's cute and we're just friends. Good. I'm glad you have a friend. You seem so much happier. Your mother was very worried. We all were. The only kids my mother's worried about are in London. No, that's not true. You shouldn't be so hard on her, Kelly. It's been very tough for her to raise you and, and earn a living all by herself. Yeah. I know, I know. It, it happens. Yes, it does. Look at Rafe. He didn't even know his mother. How come? She died giving birth to him. See, you're not alone. People do understand. Maybe more than you think. Let's go. Hey, Ray. Hi.
an easier way of getting there. Yeah? Tap the distance up the backside of Baldy Mountain. You wouldn't want to take it riding double. It's steep and dangerous and not for beginners. Ugh, I can't stand it anymore. I'm in here anyway. Hey, that's none this of your is business. This you feel the need to carry everywhere you go? Sticks and a stupid old knife? I don't see anyone. You were right. Snap her nose. You sure? One way to find out. <sighs> see? It's nothing. You just have a guilty conscience. See? What did I tell you? You know you could kill someone? He's still down. Come on, let's go. Where? To get him. What do you think? I'm sorry, okay? I just wanted to... I wasn't thinking. It didn't hit him, did it? What if he's dead? Where is he? Charlie's right here, Snapper. He didn't run off. Don't fool with me, boy. You know what I'm talking about. Is he all right? A little delirious. Snapper, you hit your head. Come on, we'll help you home. Here, take a drink. thing for Sniper they showed up when they did. As it is, it'll cost them three days' work and still hasn't found Kaya. May I be excused? Sure, honey. You know our plan's not going to work, don't you? talking about so what if kaya comes back tame that'll keep him alive but it won't do what he was bred to do i'm not getting your drift look foster wanted to end up with a champion that should make him valuable we can prove that he's not crazy or sick or whatever what we can't prove is that he's good, really good. Only he can do that. Horses from all over the country compete. It's a big deal for breeders and trainers. Oh, you mean we can enter Kaya? Not in a show event. In the big race, the Crown Invitational. And if Kaya wins the big race? 
And if I trained him? Oh. Kill two birds with one stone. Hmm. Prove Kaya champion. And you as his trainer. <laughs> I worked so hard for a chance like this. So, how do we get him in the race? That's the good news. He's already registered in all events. Has been since he was born. The bad news, Kaya barely lets us saddle him. And he's not ready for any race, especially not the Crown Invitational. Even if he was, I'm too big to be a jockey. Well, I could do it, couldn't I? <laughs> you? <laughs> yeah. What do we got to lose? What the heck? It's worth a try. Rafe, you've been neglecting that new horse you were breaking. You'd best be getting to it today. Mitchell's been asking about it. Uh, I was hoping to take Callie out riding along the Red Cliffs. I think maybe you two got a little more going on than riding the lesson. Huh? Better get to that gelding. He definitely knows. We gotta get Kaya out of there. Maybe he just got out. We'll start searching the area. I'm telling you, I looked. And he's not there. And there's no way he could have gone that by himself. What if Snapper found him? Meet me behind the stables when I'm done here. Pack it in, it's getting late. Can we start first thing in the morning? Yeah. yeah. Honey, where have you been? I started to worry. Well, we're up along the Red Cliffs and it got dark, I'm sorry. I saved dinner for you. You know what? I'm really tired. Thanks anyway. Sorry I'm late. The alarm didn't go off. We gotta finish milking before we go. Wow. You must have been up really early. Yeah, well, I want to start looking as soon as possible. You two lose something? Like a half wild horse, maybe? You steal him? Where is he? I saved Kaya's life. It all started two days ago, when I saw you two leave and decided to see where you were going. So I followed you to your little hiding place, and I saw your guest. You what? What is her problem? Uh, let her talk. Go on, Rachel. Then yesterday, when Callie left for the canyon by herself, I knew something was up. I thought I could shortcut it by crossing Baldy. And while I was on the ridge, waiting for her to arrive, I saw Snapper following your old trail towards Kai's hiding place. 
I ran down as fast as I could and I got him out before Snapper could get there. So, where is he now? He's at my brother's ranch. Oh, yes. Thank you, Rachel. I'm sorry we jumped to conclusions. Yeah, you mean you're sorry she did. Polish and a haircut. Didn't want anyone recognizing Kaya when he's got a price on his head. So, what do we do now? We? Well, it's only because of me that he's here. She's right, Callie. We're entering Kaya in the Crown Invitational. Really? Who's riding? You're joking. Well, I'm not sure yet. She's doing okay, but she hasn't had much time. Why not let me do it? Really? Yeah. Well, that would be... Rachel's a good rider, Callie. If she's on Kaya, we might have a real shot. Yeah, but I don't think it's fair. I mean, it was my idea in the first place. I was the one who... Is this about your riding Kaya or winning the race? Kaya will definitely need as much riding time as he can get in training for the race. And I can still teach you. Easy, Easy boy. Easy boy. Easy, Kaya. Easy. Cutting horse. It's part of his breeding. Only this silly horse thinks he's a barrel racer. A what? It's a 
the competition when a horse races against the clock, around barrels set in the ground. Sounds like fun. To you, maybe. <laughs> Just for fun, try running Kaya up and around the barrel. Ha! Ha! Very good, Kelly. You know, you're such a good artist. Thanks. It's a great likeness. I mean, I'm, I'm surprised you remember what he looks like. Yeah. Um, I have some good news. Your mom called this morning, and um, she finished her research project early. She's going to be coming here to spend some time before the two of you go home together. We're not leaving before next weekend, are we? No, I don't think so. Why? Is there something important going on? Oh, next weekend. That's the Crown Invitational. Is that it? Oh, right. Well, um, Mitchell and I are sponsors. Kaya is going to run in the two-year-old race. You know, sometimes it helps to confide in an adult. About what? Remember, Callie, Snapper's not a stupid man. Any news on Kai? I think maybe I've been barking up the wrong tree by looking for him in the canyon. All right. year's winning time. Cool. Oh, and get this. My brother said he'll loan us his truck and his trailer. We're set right. then. Oh, and I already told my mom I'd be sleeping over at Rachel's, so. Your mom is here? Yeah, she just came in this morning. Not that I care at all. You don't know how lucky you are, do you? Just wait till one day she's not here. You won't like it much. Oh, well, I just meant that I don't really... You don't appreciate anything. Rafe, wait. 
I'm gonna go get cleaned up. Look, I'm sorry. Look, I, I know about your mother. That was a really stupid thing for me to say. Don't worry about it. It's okay. No. I mean it. It's just hard sometimes. And you just throw it away. You don't remember your mother, do you? My dad told me she had more spirit than anyone he'd ever known. Like your mother. How do you know anything about what my mother's like? She raised you alone, right? She must have a strong spirit. Yeah, well, she's gonna run. I guess maybe you're right. Truth. Truth. Hey, Mom. Hey. I'm, um... I'm sorry about before. Before when? I don't know, just before. Thanks. Sorry, I had to leave you, Cal. It was only for the summer, and and now I'm back, and I'm not going anywhere. Not without you. Yeah, I know. Love you, Cal. Don't ever forget that, okay? Okay, Kaya, 12 hours from now, you'll be on a racetrack. I hope you're ready. I hope we're ready. Hey, don't worry. Everything's gonna be okay. We'll see. We better go. We shouldn't keep the birthday boys barbecue waiting. I thank you for this day and this life, Magua and so up, and for this feast. And I thank you, my family, for honoring me on the day of my birth with this traditional food instead of hamburger helper. <laughs> okay, let's feast. So, is everyone ready for a good story? Yes! It's tradition that the elders tell stories. That way the old stories survive new generations. Well, Pei always does it on his birthday. Coyote was out hunting one day when Snake appeared. Coyote, he said, don't go home. A monster whose size fills the valley sucked up all the animals with his hot breath. Coyote knew that he could not live in fear. So with his bundle of sticks and flint knife, he set off for the valley. He found the monster. Spreads from ridge to ridge. And he called out, Ho oh, there, monster! Why are you in my valley? Monsters threatened to swallow up Coyote on the spot. But Coyote, who 
knew how to brag, as good as Brown. You don't scare me, he said. My magic is more powerful. The monster just laughed and swallowed Coyote with one hot breath. What did Coyote do? He landed in the monster's stomach where all the animals were crying. So he made them follow him through many chambers until they saw the monster's heart swinging above them. So Coyote, with his sticks and flint knife, lit a fire. Before long, the monster shouted, Come out, Coyote, come out! But Coyote only threw another stick in the fire. When the cords that held up the heart burned through, the monster's heart fell, and he died. Wait. The most important part is yet to come. After the animals escaped through the monster's open mouth, they all ran home. Bear said, leave the body here to rot. But Coyote wouldn't allow that, and he began carving up the monster. Thigh bone he threw to Chief Mountain near the Montana glaciers, saying there would live a long legged race. From that land come the tall Blackfeet, and the monsters fat tossed to the Black Hills. And there came the round Sioux tribe. The wide ribs flung to the Mission Mountain Range in Montana, home of the squat Flathead Indians. And when he was done, the monster's body was gone. Wait, said Rabbit. You've saved nothing for this valley. But Coyote smiled and looked at his paws. A few drops of the monster's blood were left on them wrinkled the blood on the valley floor. The tribe that grows here, he said, will be the fiercest in battle and strongest in heart. And who came from that valley? Shoshone. Exactly. Welcome to Dixie Down, home of the $25,000 Crown Invitational. Two great events today, the Quarter Mile and the Barrel Race. Will all trainers please pick up their registration numbers and all jockeys please report to the weigh-in room. Picking up the registration is going to be tricky. Not for Mitchell Foster's daughter. But the... Uh... <laughs> I'm going to go check lane gate assignments, and you'd better get over to the weigh-in. I'll go pick up the registration and meet you back here. OK. <laughs> When's Rachel riding? 
What? Rachel. <laughs> She's not supposed to be riding at all. I'll find out. You check the post time for the next race. Callie? She's probably back at the stall. We were going to meet there. What? I just came from there. She's not there, neither is Kaya. One, I know it. Yeah, well, you did your best, you know? At least you got him away from Snapper. You should be proud of that. I gotta go get changed out of this monkey suit. See you later. Final call for the barrel race. All contestants, please check in with the starter. Hey, switch saddles and take Kaya to the main arena. I'll meet you there in five minutes. This 
race is for cowgirls, and we all know this next cowgirl. This is uh, Miss Carrie Shea, the reigning state champion, and she'll be riding Tippy Tioga. And they're off. Look at her go, folks. Boy, it's no secret why she was last year's champ. Oh, she makes a nice tight turnaround one with a big tilt on that white horse. Look at that cowgirl speed. There she goes around number three. But she ought to rename that horse Lightning. Let's bring her on home with a big round of applause. Excellent time, 15 three. And that is gonna to be tough for our next rider to challenge. And she's running. Here, let me pin this on you. What? You're gonna ride him. No, I can't ride him. Look, let's go find Rachel. She can do it. I'm afraid I'll ruin it for Kaya. No, you won't. You can do it. Oh, she hits three and it is down. In the hole, we have a last minute entrant in the Crown Invitational Apparel Race. Let's give a hand for our fine sponsor, Mitchell Foster, and the famous Kai Trickster, written by a newcomer on the circuit, Miss Callie Carpenter. Ray, Ray, what's going on? Snapper was drugging Kaya, so he'd agree to put him down. But he was really going to sell him. But how do you... Be quiet, Mitchell, and watch. Here she comes down the line. How about a big round of applause, folks, for this young lady? Let's bring her on home. Our next rider is number 56, Callie Carpenter. The six is so snap. You care to tell me about your deal with Will? I didn't think so. Come from different worlds, a million miles apart. But somehow we were dreaming with the same heart. Now it's all so clear, and 
Now I know what is real. 